fundamentally then becomes about because we're social creatures, right? And like what you said, the the main core of religion for you is because it's about morality almost, right? It, it's we have to have some rules, otherwise we'd just be a wild free for all, right? And that's fine. So you have to put in rules in. But when you if you put in rules with human beings, you can only control a society of human beings if you tell them they have free will. That's the only way. Because then you can only ascribe to them responsibility for their actions if you say that you have free will. The whole thing falls apart if you then admit to the guy you don't have free will. So we're not saying it that. Means, no, so, but what I'm yeah. saying is but the whole thing would fall apart because it means you can't judge him. Yes. You, yeah, you so, cannot ever say to another so, man that he has done something so, wrong so, uh, if he has no free will. Exactly. Okay. So because the whole, but, the whole legal system would effectively yeah, collapse. Yeah, 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 so yeah. what I told him... Because, yeah. because what you'd have in a situation is that... Somebody I could opt out. I could just say, "Hey, guys, so my, I live in a determinist uh, uh, universe, universe, and, what you do? and therefore yeah. I had no, I had no uh, possibility not to kill this individual because it was just it was written in the fabric of the A to B to me. We, we didn't use the word pre, uh, we, we, um, predestination, predestination, not determination, de de destination. Yeah. So what I explained to him was that God is outside of time, yes. so he could see what happened before yes. and he could see what happened after. Yes. The chain of cause so, and effect. So yeah. for for it to all be written down is not that he didn't give us a choice to do it, it's just that we chose to do it and you but knew where implied. we were going to end up. It's so implied. it's only written down because he's not in restricted to that particular moment. He just knew what we were going to do. Just like if I let go of this ball, I know it's going to fall yeah. because that's just the way it's made and the way the gravity works. And I know and because God knows us so well, he just knows what's going to happen. But it was still your choice Absolutely. to get to that point. So, so this is why I'm saying to you that on the day of judgment, when all the matters are settled, nobody will complain that they were treated unjustly because, well, you knew everything anyway, Allah. And without you, without your power, without you doing what you're doing, nothing could have happened anyway. Therefore, that, the, the bad things that I did were also because you made me do them. And the reality is nobody will say that on the Day of Judgment. So in other words... Well, so when you so, say no one's going to say that on the Day of Judgment, yes. how do you mean? No one will say... Why wouldn't I say it? Right? So if I'm being judged, right? Because the reality that you're in now yeah. is skewed with limitations of what you know. And what oh, you so understand. what you're saying is, so when I do die and I'm up there, the whole chain of cause and effect will be. So you'll know now that actually. And what will I know? What what what, what, you, what you will gain an appreciation for is that yes, Allah has power over everything, but Allah gave me uh, uh, Allah gave me the, uh, the ability to choose, and it was my choice. Now, had you made a different choice, Allah would have known that as well. And where that trajectory would have taken you. I know, okay, so you, and then you what, my point. back to the multiverse. But, but, but so the, do you guys believe in the multiverse? No, so we don't, so we, we, we hold reservation on things that Allah has not told us about. That's what I told you, it might be, but I don't know. So, so it, it may yeah. be, it may be, it may not be. There might be another million universes, or there might be a billion or but a trillion. Him, it's or, irrelevant. Or there might be, yeah, but for us, you but see. But it wouldn't be irrelevant though, because if you could have made a different choice, then that means there's almost another there's, there's, there's a fork then, in that road, But then right? you chose that, that, that universe. You could choose which universe you want to be in exactly and you because this universe you chose not to do I think, it i think also ultimately in life there are certain priorities that we should perhaps engage in first yeah. so for example if i said to you brother you're not breathing and you're a bit thirsty i'd say start breathing first yeah. i'll go and find you a bottle of water why am I doing that? Well, Walk before you can run kind of thing. Well, no, no. It's, it's about priority, isn't it? Okay. Because if you stop breathing, it doesn't matter if I go buy you a whole barrel of water. <laughs> within, okay, yeah, yeah. Within yeah. three minutes so or five just, minutes, you're, you're basically dead, right? Okay. Now, so for, a, for a, a human being, what are the most, you know, uh, you know, difficult or not difficult, but the most, let's say, profound questions? Is it about predestiny? Is it how this mechanism works? Or fundamentally, is there a creator to start with? Why should I believe in a creator? Why should I believe in his existence of this almighty being? Because if that does not exist, yeah. all of this is irrelevant anyway. No, but that comes, but it, that, that question, the question that we're talking about now is the fundamental no, question. So, so what I'm asking you is that, yeah. do you believe in a, a creator that created everything? What's your position on that? Oh, okay, all right. Do I believe in the creator? I believe that, like what I was saying to you earlier, I do believe that there is 
a, a higher entity in the sense that there would be an entity that might understand things more than us. Right. I don't believe that in. I don't believe in it in the sense of a religion. Right. Because it would be a contradiction for me. Right. Okay. Because I think okay, like in the same way that you say a cat's not going to understand our mathematics, right? Yeah. In the same way that you said a clerk, we're not going to be able to understand an infinite being, yeah. right? And so we kind of write our books, whether they're Bibles, Torahs, Qurans, where we kind of say that we've figured it out. But I don't think we ever can, right? That's a particular group of men at a particular group of time. So I think when the Quran was written, say, 500, 1500 years ago, I guess, I think at that time, they had a level of understanding that they thought they could capture what they think the actual world is, right? So could it be that a creator exists? It could be, okay. okay. So let me rephrase. I believe in a creator, but not in the sense of there's a design. Organized religion. Okay. You know, no, yeah. I yeah, just believe, okay. I believe in evolution. But I'm, so but I believe but I'm that saying, you could have a creator through yeah. evolution. Yeah, okay. That things could happen accidentally. Okay. So not I'm, necessarily by design. But my, but my question to you is, yeah. if there is a possibility or a rational, a reasonable possibility of a creator, like existing, a one out of yeah, even if it's point zero point. Well, I would say it's a lot more than that okay, because yeah, yeah, because yeah. if you look at the universe. Clearly, we be, I, I think you believe that the universe exists, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I believe he believes that the universe exists. It has to have an explanation of where it came from. Now, that explanation okay, can yeah, be a yeah. material explanation, or it can be an immaterial explanation. Yeah. If it's a material explanation, then it requires an explanation. Okay, and why, you can't why, does have, need, why does it need an explanation? Because anything that's contingent, assembled in a particular way, by losing something, you change the very nature of it. Yeah. By adding to it, you change the very nature of it. it. means that it's reliant and it's contingent. And anything that's contingent and reliant Just requires a preceding step. Yeah, keep going back forever and, and, and an no, no, answer no. for its, of, of its existence, explanation for its existence. And what you can't have is an infinite series of material explanations because you can never traverse an infinite series of events to reach this event today where you and I are talking. It has to start from somewhere. It has to start from somewhere. Well, if so it's a loop, it doesn't. So that thing. Well, the, even scientists would agree that even if you go for the circular, uh, the cyclic universe, yeah. it still needs a beginning. Something right. had to be right. with because, because, material because to be it's, in the because, place, because it the universe is contingent and okay, it requires an explanation because it's contingent and reliant upon. So if you take, so if you assemble it differently, if the strong and nuclear, uh, strong and weak nuclear forces were slightly different, you don't get chemistry. You don't get chemistry. You don't get biology. You don't get human life. You don't get any life on Earth. So right. what I'm saying is that that requires an explanation. Now, so but then that very theory, if you hold that, yes. why doesn't that hold for God then? Because why does God get to be the one thing that doesn't have a beginning? Because ultimately, you need something. Yeah. That is the necessary existence. The necessary oh, beginning of... Necessary uh, existence that everything else relies upon for its existence. But now you're also trapped in an infinite loop. Because why Why does that first thing not need... I'll explain that to its you. Its foundation. I'll explain Because what you're saying is the world needs a foundation. Something has one. to exist yeah. without it coming into existence. It has to have always been that way. Uh, and and now, I'm agreeing Now, you. whether you say it's a material something yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. or an immaterial something, yeah. it has to, by necessity, you have to have the necessary existence. Now, if you say a material existence, is this material existence powerful? Is it? Powerful. What does that mean? Does it have power? Power because to do what? Because this universe yeah. has trillions of more stars than grains okay, of sand wait, wait. on Earth. So when you say material so it existence... has to have immense power to give birth to something that's so powerful, right? Okay, but, but what you're almost saying to me is that if you have a material existence yes. that is infinite, then it's problematic, right? However, you're saying there needs to be an alternative, something that can be infinite. I'm saying the only reasonable deductive explanation yeah. for the existence of everything is a necessary existence. That's not that's non-materialistic. Well, I would say that it has to have immense power because what we see omitted from it, what we see that's come from it, is incredibly powerful. Just yeah. our one sun is one star yeah. of more than, you know, uh, more stars in the universe than grains of sand on every earth, on every planet. But on, where did on, it on get that planet. power from? Did so it, what I explained to him. So what I'm saying is that by necessity, yeah. it has to be powerful. No, okay, and let's say yeah. we, we've agreed. Then, so let's say you can have a multiverse that has an infinite amount of black holes in it and it's accumulated all of this power, right? So I'm saying, why does the thing, why, so, does, the, why does the all powerful thing that you're talking yeah. about, why does it have to be a metaphysical thing? Okay, I'm explaining that to okay. you. Because every, uni every universe is contingent. On what? Every black hole is contingent. On what? Well, it needs certain um, laws of physics, for example, to, to function. 
it has certain set physics physical okay. rules yeah gravity or whatever you want to say okay. but those rules have to be otherwise it doesn't function so in that my, way. my point was so for you then is someone sitting down and designing all of these no no rules? what i'm saying to you is that or something. The, the, the two options are yeah a material something or an immaterial something that's beyond our okay. comprehension okay. understanding and what if those two things that you've just